Hello students, today we are going to discuss the preclinical methods which are used for the screening of anticonvulsant drugs. There are two types of methods. First is by chemical induced conversion where fentanyl tetrazone is used. Another is the electroshock induced conversion where electrical impulses are transmitted into the brain of the animal and conversion was observed. Let's see how it is performed. So what is epilepsy? It is also a part of convulsion. Epilepsy is a central nervous system disorders in which brain activity become abnormal. So it is mainly related to your central nervous system. And in this case, you can observe the abnormal behavior which causes the seizures or periods of unusual behavior. Means there is a certain gap where you cannot observe the proper behavior in a person. Then sensation and sometime loss of awareness. These are leads to the epilepsy. So there are three types of epilepsy. First is the grand mal epilepsy, second is the petit mal epilepsy, and third is the psychomotor epilepsy. In grand mal epilepsy, it is a generalized type of epilepsy where the tonic clonic movement can be observed and there is a loss of consciousness. Whereas in case of petit mal epilepsy, there is a sudden impairment observed or loss of consciousness observed little or no tonic-clonic movement observed. And third is the psychomotor epilepsy where there is a sudden changes in awareness, partial consciousness is observed and antisocial behavior is widely observed in a person. So this behavior can also observed in case of the animals. So animals are used for screening of this anticonversion drugs. So, in today's methods, we are using maximum electroshock induced convulsion in animals and this electroshock, it is also called as MES model, is developed a grand mal type of the epilepsy in the rodents. The requirement for this experiment are as follows. You need animals, particularly take uh, mice or rat. If you are using the rat, then the weight should be 200 to 250 gram. If you are using the mice, the weight should be 25 to 30 gram. So both these species can be used for screening of anticonversion activity. Then you need the drugs. So some standard drugs are there. You can use, for example, phenytoin, it is anticonvulsant drug. The dose is 20 to 25 mg per kg IPR orally. Or you can use your test drug or drug of your interest for the screening purpose. Then for development of the electroshock, you need a convulsometer. It is also called as electroconvulsometer or the convulsometer. So this is what the electroconvulsometer. Now, <clears throat> if you see the electroconvulsometer, this is a, what uh, uh, the instrument which is uh, available. It containing a display board which shows the current which are uh, going through that. And then this is what on off switch. Then this. Uh, switch is helpful for the maintenance of the current. For example, suppose we are you are uh, making a temperature a current of 150 milliampere or 50 hertz, then you can by use of these two switch, you can fix the current or then this is useful for the time fixation for how much time uh, the current should be induced or introduced into the animal and the ear electrodes are 
used to pass the current into the brain of the animal into the body of the animal so these two electrodes are there which are uh, accessories of these instruments and this instrument uh, though it produces the uh, electro shock into seizure but it is not widely used as there is a chances of mortality in the animal as the current flowing somewhat higher then also the animal get died so these are what the cornea electro ear electrodes um, which are attached to here and then these two parts they are attached to the two ears ear pinna of the mice so first you can uh, take the instrument you can attach both these to this ear pinna of the rat and then if you are using the mice you can set the instrument at 12 milliampere 50 hertz and the time for this current is 0.2 second or if you are using the rat then 150 milliampere current should be uh, intensity of the stimuli is there then 50 hertz and 0.2 second is the time interval so as soon as you have started the current will pass into the uh, body of the animal and after 0.2 second it will automatically stop so this is what a picture which shows how it is uh, induced then uh, you can make the animal into two groups each group containing some five to six animals and one group is considered as a control another group having the drug like phenytoin and then simultaneously carry out this process for each animal and do the observation what are the observation so there are five types of observation mainly observed in this uh, test first is the tonic flexon then tonic extensor then clonic convulsion then stupor and recovery or death of the animal so here you can observe that it is a flexon what is flexon it is nothing but the constriction of muscle which reduces the size of animal followed by extension so constriction of the muscles you can observe in this animal and which after constriction it observed that the animal size is going to reduces so this is first observation another is the hind limbs are stretch and muscle tone is increases see the hind limb it is going to be stretch and the tone is going to increases it is called as the extensor the next observation is the clonus it is nothing but the fast stiffening and relaxation of muscle and repeated jerking is showing by the animal it is called as the clonus then stupor the animal gives no response to external stimuli and then follows recovery or death so this is the last phase after that you can either the animal get recover or the animal get death it is called as the stupor so make a two group containing six animal control animal get saline another animal get standard drug if you have a test drug then multiple groups you can prepare each group having the six animals and whenever you administered your drug the drug should be administered before the electro shock you can um, depending on the property of the drug you can administered one hour before 30 minutes before whatever may be but after that you can give the electro shock and repeat the experiment um for each group and each animal then if you see here both the ear pinna that uh, the electrodes are attached this is the flexon this is the extension this is the clonus and this is the stupor these phases you can observe now how to make a score of the seizures if there is a no seizure you can score it as a zero if you observe there is a no any type of the above observation then you can note it as a zero if the forelimb extension without hind limb extension observed 
then you can score it as a one. If complete forelimb extension and partial hind limb extension observed, then score at two. When complete tonic hind limb extension observed, that is T H L E, then score three. And four is the post ectal depression. So this phase is very important. So accordingly, one can observe these uh, seizures, development of seizures, stages of seizures, and accordingly, uh, one can score this numbering. Then you can prepare observation table. In this observation table, you can observe the tonic hind limb extension and percent protection. So in group one, group two, if you have if you have in group three, four, you can make the table. If this phase is present, you can just put a yes, yes. If not present, write down the no or absent. So from that, you can calculate the percent protection. Another way of making observation table is that you can make a table in which you can write all the four phases and the time uh, for time in second for which the animal remain in that particular stage, you can put that timing in second in that group and make a mean. Okay, so percent protection you can calculate by using this formula that percent protection is equal to number of animals with THLE absent that is when what we are score that is third score. Okay, that is considered as the THLE absent divided by total number of animal in that group multiplied by 100 you will get the percent protection from the conversation. Thank you for uh, your patience. If you need such types of videos, then you comment, you subscribe the video, you like the video. And if you have any uh, queries, you can put in the comment box regarding this uh, experiment in the next uh, Video, we will go with the pentinyl tetrazole induced conversion in the 